kind of grew up learning, you know, if I couldn't get into the cookie jar and I couldn't figure out my way into the cookie jar, I had to stay getting the cookies, which kind of helped me. I'm glad my parents were kind of like hard on me like that. Um, very independent, didn't really need prosthetics. I grew up with prosthetics, but I tried really hard to like not use them growing up. Um, started working a job when I was 21. It was in a factory. Working in this job, I started getting really bad carpal tunnel and whatnot. And I was getting to the point to where I was putting too much stress on my hand. I was at the point where I'm like, I need a prosthetic. Like I need something to take the weight off this hand. Because my one of my biggest fears in this world is losing the ability to use my only hand. So I started looking and I come across the hero arm, but at the time it was only in um, England. I was like prepared to like go and get this hand in England, which is extreme, I know, but I was prepared to do it. The week that I was looking to do this was an announcement that Open Bionics was coming to America, <laughs> and I was like, that's even better. They have come a lot of ways with it. It's helped me a lot with um, small, like, packing things and helping with my kid and stuff, because I just recently had a baby. Um, so it, it's been helpful. I wouldn't say that I use it every day, but I do use it quite a bit. Uh, my oldest. He, uh, he's cool with it now because I have a five month old and 12 year old. My oldest, when I was first trying to get an arm, he was freaking out. He was like, don't get my dad a robot arm. No, 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 no. Like I remember I took him to the clinic with me and he uh, he kept repeatedly telling the, the worker there, he's like, please don't let my dad have a robot arm. But um, he's cool with it now. He, he likes it. He thinks it's cool and stuff. And well, no, he's he's actually used my, my arm as a phone holster to watch YouTube videos before. So. <laughs> This is going to sound really out there, but I'm, and maybe it's a tech whiz in me, I don't know. But I've always wanted a hand that had like a flash drive hidden in the finger. Like that would be, <laughs> it sounds really useless, but there's so many situations where I would love to just put the finger off and plug it in and like, you know, some kind of storage. Honestly, even over function, this probably sounds vague, but even over functionality, um, the aesthetic means more to me than anything. As far as what is possible technology wise, I think that it operates very well. I think it's probably like top notch in my opinion. Um, aesthetic, like 10 out of 10, you know, I say operation nine out of 10, but everything together, I would give it like a nine out of 10. Yeah. I'm streaming a content creator. It's kind of weird me saying this, but like in public, I don't like being in the spotlight. So little kids when they see you missing a hand you know they got so many questions they're so curious it's not their fault i get that but they're always coming up and they're like you know how'd you lose your hand and you tell them and then they just doesn't stop it just keeps going but when i'm wearing the bionic hand it just kind of like oh you got an iron man hand it's like yeah and it's done it over and, you know they, they go on but plus it just looks really really cool i love the idea of having a robotic hand <laughs> i mean this is metal gear solid you know you can't my, my inner gamer nerd just goes crazy for it so How many of you guys game? You guys game or anything? Yeah. Yeah. So you know that there's not like a lot of crap out there for us to game. Yeah. And especially if you're missing your right hand. I use foot switches and stuff to game a lot. If I use mouse keyboard, like I got this whole rig set up here with foot switches. You can kind of say, I mean, I use a G13 to move and we should definitely game together. Uh, play Fortnite? I do. I play zero builds mostly. All right. Perfect. Cause I hate the building aspect. <laughs> yeah. I don't like the Legos. I don't think <laughs> I categorize this user talk as a 110% win simply because we got Travis and Trace linked up with gaming. So if we can make friends <laughs> and keep calls, they are a complete success in my book. Well, you're probably going to hear a lot of, um, probably going to hear a lot of adults and even kids tell you you can't do something because like you can't you know you don't have two hands whatever or you don't have two legs whatever and just to ignore them and find a way to do it because i mean you know i'm sure all of you that are amputees you've had growing up and even probably to today you have people that doubt you can do like the simplest of tasks or if you do do a simple task it's like amazing to them they're like oh my god i'm so proud of you because well, and it's like you know it's cool you're proud but like i don't really care because it's just me living my daily life um <laughs> i see the smiles there but um i would just say to just keep experimenting and keep figuring out how to do it and honestly i would pick some type of hobby that involves you using your hand a lot whether it's video games or solving a rubik's cube whatever something to give you 
very good hand-eye coordination. On behalf of Open Bionics, we all thank you, Travis, for joining us and for offering your input and your comments. Thank you guys for the opportunity to speak and whatnot. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate you guys listening to me.